Okay, curl friends, I wanted to share with you today um, two products that I have been using since, I wouldn't say since I started my hair journey because I would be lying. This, I started using these products months into my hair journey after I did some research myself as far as asking a lot of questions on my Instagram. I know my old curl friends, they know me, honey, because I used to bother the heck out of them. But that's how we learn. You got to ask questions. So I asked a lot of questions when I started my hair journey. I did a lot of reading and I also watched a lot of videos so I could educate myself regarding these two products. Why do I need to add them to my hair my hair regimen? What are the purposes? Are there are there any pros and cons? Now, I know we're getting off subject, but a lot of the time when because we are part of the hair community, when we hear the word humectin, we automatically think it have everything to do with hair. And when in reality, a lot of our skincare products contain humectant. A lot of our SPF 15, our foundation, and our powders contain humectant, okay? Humectants are products that are introduced in these products or by itself. Um, what humectant does, the purpose of humectant is to pull, draw, or add moisture to your hair, okay? Now, when it comes to the honey, you guys know that... If I am not doing a product review, if I'm, if I'm just doing my regular deep conditioner at home, I always add my essential oils and my carrier oils and also my honey. Now the purpose for me to add honey to my deep conditioner is because it helps to repair my hair. If it's damaged, it strengthens my hair, um, it adds shine to my hair, and it also keeps my hair very, very moisturized and soft. I know the difference when I use honey in my deep conditioner versus when I don't use honey, especially if I go under the steamer instead of the hood of dry. I notice the difference right away um, when I use my honey one week versus the other week when I don't use it. Dry. Now a lot of people are saying, well isn't, don't that make, the, make your hair sticky? Isn't your hair sticky or feel icky? I've heard that also. No it doesn't. Because you're not putting a lot of honey. You're not like squeezing like ounces and ounces of honey in there. Maybe a spoonful, um, maybe a little bit more depending on your hair, the length of your hair, maybe the thickness of your hair, and just how much you want in general. So, and remember, you're gonna, it's a deep conditioner, so it's mixed with other products, and you're gonna rinse it out. So, there is no sticky after. You know what I mean? You're not, your hair is not going to be sticky. Don't worry. They, the ants won't find you <laughs> if that's what you're worrying about, okay? So that's it as far as the honey is concerned. All right, now we're going to move on to the vegetable glycerin. The way I use this vegetable glycerin is always in my DIY spritz, okay? And this is just my aloe vera juice, um, a little bit of uh, water. Not the tap water. I usually put the bottled water, um, a few drops of my essential oil, and maybe a light oil like my jojoba oil and then my vegetable glycerin. Let me explain to you how this, how vegetable glycerin work, okay? If you check most of your hair products that you use, most of your leave-in leave conditioners, most of your twist out butter, twist out gel, most of those products contain glycerin and remember glycerin is a humectant. So what happened when you do your bomb twist out, braid out, flat twist, um, bantu knot out, and it looks amazing in the house, and you go outside, it's hot outside, um, what happens then is that your cuticles, because you're inside the house and the house is cool, your cuticles are going to lay flat, okay? When you go outside, what happens is that the, the humidity activates the glycerin, okay? And your strands, it opens up your strand. It's just like a little flower bud or something. It opens up your strands and it pulls the moisture in. So this is why when you're outside for about half an hour, 45 minutes, you notice that your twist out or braid out, you know, your hair starts to swell and you're wondering, well, what the heck is going on? Your hair is actually pulling moisture from the air. And just think about like when you're washing your hair. At the end of... At the end of you washing your hair, a lot of the time they'll tell you that when you do that final rinse to add cold water. The reason why you're adding cold water is because you just add heat to your hair. Or maybe the night before you did a pre-poo, um, you just got from under the dryer with your deep conditioner. 
So your cuticles are open. Remember the warm temperature, the hot temperature opens up your cuticles for moisture to go in. So the deep condition is going in your hair, the pre-poo is going in your hair, whatever else um, that you have going on up here. Okay, so now your hair is hot, um, your, your cuticles are open and the moisture go in. Okay, so at the end of the wash, what we recommend for you to do is to rinse, your last and final rinse is to rinse with cold water, as cold as you can bear it. And what that does, it's going to close your cuticles, okay? Remember, your cuticles are open. The moisture is in. So you don't want to leave your cuticles open. You want to rinse with that, you want to do that final rinse with cold, cold water to close your cuticles. Once your cuticles are closed, it's going to seal the moisture in your hair. Okay. It took me a while to understand why my curl friends up north have to tweak their hair regimen during the winter time. And I realized that most of the products that they are using, that we are using continuously throughout the year, when it comes to the winter time, they have to tweak it. And the reason being is that if you're up north and it's below 40 and below whatever it is that you guys go through up there, then of course there's no moisture in the air. It's cold, it's crisp, it's dry, it's thirsty. There's no moisture. It defeats the purpose for you to use glycerin in your product because what the glycerin does at that time, it actually makes your hair very, very dry and very, very brittle. Because your hair, your, your, the cuticles in your hair stays closed that like, there's no moisture in the air like it's not in Florida where it's 90 something degree or 80 something degree and you go outside and your hair poofs up during those winter months there's no poofing up of your hair so I understand at that time that a lot of them do protective styles and a lot of them will start using thick butter as far as like shea butter or thick leave-in um, conditioners or twist butter um, without glycerin so whatever moisture that product um, says that it has that it will keep their hair moisturized a lot of them up north go through the process also with dry hair brittle shedding breaking okay so in closing um, just read your product label to find out if your products contain a lot of glycerin I know a lot of the leave-in conditioners contain glycerin a lot of the even your shampoos and your rinse out conditioner but more so your twist out butters twist out gel um any your stylers most of your stylers i know have glycerin in there i like my hair big i purposely um will use my pick and make my hair as big as it can get i love big big outrageous hair and i can't wait for my hair to get big and outrageous um so i don't mind i love using using products with glycerin um, because I, I love how it works. If you're not that kind of a curl friend and want your curls to stay put, then you might want to check your product labels before you use them. Anyway, ladies, I will see you on my next video. Hopefully, I was able to explain to you a little bit more as far as humectants are concerned, their purposes, the pros and the cons, and hopefully you'll get a better understanding. Um, yeah. I'll see you on my next video. If you guys have tried tried any one of these products, let me know what have been your experiences. Um, if your hair like it, if it don't, um, yeah, let's talk. I'll see you guys on my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.